Are you a product developer, product owner, or simply interested in the value of your product towards customers? Then you want to know all about the MVP, the minimum viable product. Meet Kate. Kate is a product owner and has a great idea for a new product that she knows customers will love. But can she be sure? What if she's the only one? How does she know that the new product or feature is something that the customers will really be excited about and maybe willing to pay for? Well, she uses an MVP. The minimum viable product is that version of a product which allows the team to collect the maximum amount of validated learning about the customers with the least amount of effort. That is the definition Eric Ries gave in the Lean Startup. But how can you get the maximum amount of validated learning about customers? There are different ways to go about this for each type of MVP. We will talk about this in detail later on. We use this cycle. It's called the Build, Measure, Learn cycle. Each MVP should use this cycle to gather the maximum amount of validated learning so Kate can decide if she wants to pivot or persevere. In short, first of all, we have the term build. Building a minimum viable product with which you can validate your most critical assumptions with real customer data. Then there is measure. Measuring if your assumption was validated or not and to what extent. Last of all, we have learning. Learning is the ultimate goal for MVP. If you haven't learned anything about your product using the real customer feedback, the MVP was waste. So, Kate needs to make a choice. But whatever choice she makes, she needs to validate her most uncertain assumptions with every MVP she develops. So, would you like to hear more of Kate's teachings? Like this video. With 250 or more likes, Kate will start working on a new video.